Hey guys, how's it going? Tracy here. Today I have more empties to show you. I am moving, so these things that need to get out of my house. So I'm going to show you what I've been using for the last, like, month. Because I think I did one last month also. So let's just get into this. So I want them gone out, so I have less to move. First thing I see in here is Nair. You know, you guys, I never have shaped my legs before, personally, by myself. Um, it just scares me. So, Nair, for me, is a lifesaver. So, I don't have to wax. It works really, really good. Um, if you have really sensitive skin, I wouldn't use this. But, it leaves your legs, like, super smooth for, like, two weeks. I kid you not. Best product ever. Next thing I used up was the Bath and Body Works Winter Citrus Wreath. I actually did not like this scent when I first got it. Um, I'm not a big orange fan, but it grew on me, and I will definitely repurchase this scent again. I really liked it a lot, and I need really badly to go to a Bath and Body Works because I had to actually go to... CVS and get like a four dollar soap which is like so shitty but I'll do it after I move and I'm moving um today is the 25th and I move you guys I move in five days Woo! I'm so excited so next thing I used was cotton swaps and there's a few more in there that just fell on me these are really good I like them um, um, I buy whatever brand. The last ones I bought were nasty from the dollar store. Do not buy dollar store ones. They're so gross. They just like bend and crack and they're awful. I just got the CVS ones this time and they were good. No complaints there. I finished up a Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in Light. I really like this, you guys. Um, I definitely probably will repurchase it. This is a I kind of feel like this is a little bit like the um, MAC concealer, the Pro MAC concealer. This is just a little bit thicker, and I use this on my days when I have really, really bad acne and I need to clean it up. So I definitely highly recommend you guys picking this up if that is, you know, acne and stuff is what you have problems with. I finished up another Holy Grail, like I always talk about, the CVS Makeup Wipes. These things are amazing, you guys. Um, you can't go wrong with them. I definitely highly recommend that you try these if you haven't yet. Next thing I used up was my Tresemme Professional um, Active Technology Anti-Breakage Conditioner. So this is kind of like a taboo for me to have this even in my house and in my shower and actually using this product because I am a hairstylist and every single time I talk to my clients I say do not buy drugstore products for your hair. It'll mess your hair up, it has silicone in it, it will leave a waxy film on your hair, but this has no silicone in it. I'm not promoting this product in a... Uh, personal sense or in a professional sense but it's a pretty good product I really like this you guys I really like this a lot and I used to bleach my hair all the time like since I've been 16 and I've always used this and it I feel like it does a really good job like my hair is always nice and soft when I buy this so just saying Next things I used up were two beauty blenders. This one I used so way past its expiration date. I mean, this is just gone. This one I used it twice. I did not like it. It's super hard. I got it um, as a birthday gift. Um, they got a whole bunch of ones for me that like are different sizes and stuff on Amazon. And this one was just like a no-go. It was so hard. But um, this one I got at... I think I got it at Target, and I love these. They're really, really nice, so I highly recommend. I do highly recommend Beauty Blenders. They just make your life so much easier. I mean, I used to be somebody who would 
massage the makeup with my fingers because I felt like doing a brush I always leaves weird streaks on me so I'm not a big fan of um, concealer brushes and foundation brushes but um, beauty sponges and things like that are awesome and I don't think you need to go buy you know a $20 sponge because it's not gonna last you that long it might last you like you know a month or two and then you gotta throw it away and then repurchase another one get one for like $5.99 they work the fucking same that's all I'm saying Alrighty. I have been trying this, so I'm just getting rid of the box. I'm not finished with it yet. It's a brightening kit from Mario Basu. Basu. I got this at Ulta with when they had 20% off, like your entire purchase. I bought this a long time ago, you guys. I have a haul about this. Um, starting a new line. I really do like it. It's a really nice um, skincare. For a while, my face was breaking out so bad, but I think it was from a primer I was using. I'm pretty sure that it was from the Speckle by Laura Mercier, and a lot of people rave about that, but it just was not working out for me. So I think I'm definitely going to um, repurchase this when I finish the rest of it, but I just got to get rid of the box. So just a little update on you guys, because me, every single time I was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to update this and do that and whatever, it's just. I get so busy and then I forget to do it. So, just a little update. I do, I, I am liking it a lot. So, and I'm really picky with skincare because my, my skin is oily to combo and I feel like everything I do just makes my skin oilier and it just pisses me off. So, yeah. Another holy grail, I finished up my coconut scrub by Soft Soap love this stuff i could not find it the last time i went shopping so i got a caress um i think it was a brown sugar scrub and it, it's okay it doesn't leave me as moisturized as this one but if you got dry skin and you need you know and you tan and all that kind of stuff you gotta get that little dead skin off but you don't want to be dry after the shower i highly recommend this you guys very good and a lot of times I can see it at Walmart or Target as like a two-pack, and that's a really good deal. I finished up another Bath and Body Work Fresh Balsam. This was really nice. Um, it was very piney, scenty. So this is be more for like a guy scent if that's what you're looking for. So, and I finished up one of my favorite primers, and they. Alta discontinued it, so I'm guessing that they don't make the brand anymore, which I'm really sad. It's awful. But this is Pop Beauty, the CC cream. It was white, and then it goes on your skin, like just like a cream. Ugh. It was so nice. My skin and my makeup never looked better with this. I, I kid you not. So right now I'm trying the NYX um, HD, and that kind of is like this, but this is more of like a thicker consistency which I like um, so I'm gonna go on eBay and hopefully I can find this but Pop Beauty their CC cream you guys is the bomb.com I love this stuff very much and I don't say that a lot about primers because a lot of primers like they look nice and they're super silicone and your makeup goes on but with me having oily skin it just makes me 10 times oilier and this didn't so I need that in my life, so I gotta find it. So if any of you can find that product for me, please tell me about it. I will love you forever. Alright, I found just up another HD Crest White toothpaste. Um, love this stuff. I'm trying a new one of the same company. Um, I think I like this one better. So I will definitely always be repurchasing this one unless another brand comes along and makes me all happy inside, which nothing at the moment has. So. I did a pair of lashes. These are Ardell 116s. I don't remember what they looked like. I'm guessing that they were pretty natural. I don't go, I don't try to do anything too crazy. As of right now, I have lash extensions in, so I haven't been using t 
too many false lashes. I finished up my Tarte BB Amazonian Clay like primer. Didn't like this. I don't know if it was old, but it was really chunky and just oily and not my cup of tea. I finished up the Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in Light by L'Oreal, I think. And this was really good. I actually bought the full size. So when I, since I'm tanning, I have not tanned for a while, like a week, because I've been so busy. I just haven't had time to. But um, I'll get back on the bandwagon when I move. This was really, even though it's light, it was still pretty dark. And if I went tanning and then I didn't feel like putting a ton of makeup on and get, like the whole nine yards, I put this on and this evened out my skin. It made me a tad bit oily, so I just put a little bit of powder on it, but then it made it set all day. So I highly recommend this, and it's, and this has been around for for a while, so I'm pretty sure you all can find it. Now I finished up another Lady Speed Stick deodorant. This is a Holy Grail too. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't give me red bumps. It smells really good. The only thing now I feel like because I work like within the industry with a lot of people I feel like I do get really sweaty because I'm moving my hands a lot I'm blow drying I got it all up in here um I want to kind of find something that I'm not allergic to that'll keep me dry so I've been testing out a couple of deodorants so they'll be in more um later empties videos so watch out for that but I really do like this and um I've been using this I mean since I was in high school it's you know awesome and I finished up a I think cranberry frosted cranberry by Bath and Body Works these are just wallflowers I love wallflowers I have them all over my apartment um, just to make everything smell delicious and uh, I used as much as the Lori Mercier product as I could. Um, it was a good primer, but not for me, you guys. Um, it just made me super oily. I'm pretty sure it broke me out because after I stopped using this, I haven't had any breakouts. Like, my skin is, like, actually pretty damn clear for right now. And I just got to get rid of it. I used pretty much half of it, but it's just not a product for me. So I'm glad that was a sample. I didn't buy the whole thing. And then the last product, and this is just a case. Nothing exciting. Then the last product was I'm getting rid of. It's pretty new. I haven't used it very often. But every single time I use it, I regret it. Um, this is the 24-hour infallible, the super slim liquid liner by L'Oreal Paris. I thought this tip would be super nice because it's so thin but it's just like I want to be able to do the tip you have to actually like like press it really hard to make anything come out and I want to be able to just touch the tip and be able to do it so I, it wasn't for me like it looks like it goes on pretty nice but I just I didn't like it I don't know Maybe I'll give it to a friend and stuff throwing it away. Because I've only had it for a couple weeks and... Excuse me. It is like really early in the morning. So, I'm doing this before work. But, um... Yeah. I don't know. A lot of people raved about it on YouTube. But, sometimes they're sponsored. Just saying. But, no. L'Oreal... Infallible, super skinny, or super slim, was not for me. Alrighty, folks, that is everything in my empties video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this, and I hope that you guys are having a really awesome Saturday, or whenever you see this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.